Hi there, students. Revanchism. Revanchism. Okay, um, so this is a political policy. Revanchism talks about getting back an area of land that once belonged to your country and was lost during uh, a war or was lost during an invasion. So I happily thought, well, I'm going to use the Crimea as a good example of revanchism and that the Ukraine wants to get it back. But it's not actually a very good example because the um, Crimea was also Russian. It was also Turkish. It was also Ukrainian. So... Um, I guess this would be a, a situation where both sides would claim revanche, would uh, claim, uh, or would want a revan revanchistic policy to get back the lost territory, to regain the lost territory. Now, let's look at the origin of this word revanchism. This, it comes from French, la uh, revanche, revanche, revenge in French. And you can actually you say uh, revanche, um, using it to mean revenge. Um, but revanchism was something that... Um, grew grew up in France in the 1870s after a Franco-Prussian war, a war between the French and the Germans. And um, the French wanted the Alsace-Lorraine territories back. Um, and uh, this is where uh, revanchism first came from. The idea of getting back uh, territory that that had been lost. Normally, a revanchist thinks that um, this territory can be gained back by winning a another war against these people. So, revanchism. But revanchism is also um, retaliation, but normally in, in a political sense. So... In this case, the, the, the war in Ukraine is quite good. So um, the uh, Russians send uh, drones to explode in Ukraine. And the revanche is the Ukrainians sending drones to explode in Russia. Um, it's rea a reaction uh uh, a retaliation, a policy of seeking to retaliate um, a, a, against your enemy. Um, but normally revanchism, I hit you, you hit me, uh, an eye for an eye and the whole world goes blind. Um, so, but revanchism, it's normally, uh, well, it means revenge, but it's a political policy designed to recover lost territory or lost uh, or, or, or lost status. Um, I, I wonder about Mexican uh, revanchism and getting back the state of Texas or or parts of California. Yeah, um, revanchism definitely. It's the spirit of revenge of a of a defeated nation trying to get back to restore lost territory lost power lost lost authority and then you have the person a revanchist but um rev revanchism uh getting getting back uh l land especially against a nation which uh, ha, ha, has beaten you and taken land lands away from you. Uh, maybe revanchism between uh, Poland and um, Be uh, Bel Belarus, Belarus, uh, because uh, Belarus was supposed to be Eastern Poland, I believe. Okay, so. Um, revanchism. It's getting back la land that used to belong to you. 
but well maybe if we go back far enough the Italians could claim a revanchist policy that um, they want the whole of Europe back because the Roman Empire conquered most of Europe um, I don't know revanchism I, I'm, I'm not a person who is very keen on revenge so a revanchist a revanchism a revanchist policy um, formality seven informality using a semi-formal conversation semi-formal or formal writing and then as to origin um it comes from uh revanche in french revanche to uh get revenge um from revanger to to take revenge upon from latin vindico vindex to protect uh, to claim to punish so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now revanchism